Yo, world, well, welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of Savor the Flavor. Today we are in Macala, Texas, one of my favorite cities to go eat in. And today we are at a place my boy sent it to me. And uh, hey, we have to try it, okay? Because it has something unique on there. And I had to try it because your boy knows fried food. I'm not going to say anymore. You have to wait and see what it is. But today we at, yeah, we at the Chubby Raccoon today in Macala, Texas, okay? So let's see what it's all about. And I got my homeboy with me, 956 La Come. So. You want to see all that? See what we got? What we gonna eat? You need to stay tuned. All right. All right, now this is the original Chubby Burger, okay? The original, so y'all gonna trip out on this. Check this out. Man. Deep fried goodness, it's already cut in half. Son of a... There's a smash burger and there's a Nashville hot. Now here you don't have to get just the fries or the onion rings. They do a call fring, so you get half and half. So that's what I got because you gotta have the best of both worlds when you have you know a chubby sandwich. Alright, so you can see how disgustingly delicious this looks. Cheesy. Okay, but as you can see, the burger is not touching each side of the wall, so it shrank to be expected. But this outside right here is crunchy. We got the gooeyness of the inside. This is a textural experience, I hope. You know, and if you're into texture like I am, let's find out. Okay. Definitely meaty, definitely cheesy. Texturally, you got crunchy, you got gooey, you got chewy. The bread, the bread for me is nice and fluffy. It's not like soaked in grease. It doesn't have that soaked in grease, uh, you know, taste. So it's kind of, it's, it's fluffy. It kind of gives me a little croissant vibe, but all together, I rock with this, man. If y'all, if you guys are into texture and something just delicious, this is something for you. This is what I came here for and it did not disappoint. But this is what I thought of this one, all right? 956 La Coma is here and he's gonna tell you what he thinks of his. So I have a similar take on the original. I like the texture. Um, 
I think I prefer a regular burger, but it's a nice change of pace. I like that. Now, we're gonna try this mac and cheese right here. It's got the, you know, the breadcrumbs on top. It looks gooey, it looks cheesy. So we're gonna get into this right here. Look at that. Whoa. Okay. The noodles are definitely al dente. The cheese is inside the noodle, because these are spiral noodles. The breadcrumbs give it that nice crunch that you, that you need on top. I definitely rock with that mac and cheese. Okay, now we're gonna get into the, the fried delectables we got here, onion rings and fries. So, first off the bat, I like this. I like this a lot. Crunchy on the outside, fluffy on the inside. But we need to try it with one of the sauces, okay? We're gonna try that garlic aioli, because if you have never had garlic aioli, you're missing something in your life. Mm. Garlic presence is strong in that one. That's a good sauce. All right, now we got the onion rings here. Mm-hmm. These are good too. Let's try this with the chubby sauce. Mm-hmm. Chubby sauce is pretty good too. Nothing too crazy, but it's nice. Now we're gonna try that spicy uh spicy ranch. Mm-hmm. Wow, that does have a kick to it. What well, we're gonna wash it down with. Now next we're gonna try this smash burger. Look at that. This is a nice burger. I like how it's got all the vegetables in it and then the bun is not like over soaked where it's falling apart. Like everything's kept together in this, okay? So that's a really good thing because it has the vegetables in it. And it's, it's like I said, it's nice and cheesy. It's not falling apart. I like this. All right, next we got the Nashville Hot, okay? So we're gonna get into this and see what it's all about. Cause we got the original, we'll try that next. Okay. This is another texture one. Crunchy, juicy. The cheese, I would have liked for the cheese to be a little bit more melty, but it's not bad. The spice is not crazy. You know, because when you think Nashville, you think hot, you think like, oh my God, it's gonna burn you. No, this is a very tolerable spice. Okay, and then it's the pickles and everything together, good. And then the bread, like I said, it stayed together. So I'll rock with this too. So far, everything's good. But we still got two more burgers to try, so stay tuned. All right, now this is the original chicken sandwich, which uh, for me, you know, it's got caramelized onions, pickles, it's got a sauce in there, it's got cheese. So this should be interesting. Oh, wow. Mm. This has been sitting a minute. And it's, even because of that, it's still juicy, still crunchy. Uh, one more bite. This could go into the chicken sandwich war and be a good contender. I really rock with this one. But I prefer the Nashville Hot over this one because of the heat that it brings to it and the different flavor that it brings to it. But this is still a good chicken sandwich. So I just had the original chicken sandwich. It goes in a completely different direction than the Nashville. Uh, the original chicken sandwich is going more towards the creaminess there's a little bit of tartness with the pickle. Um, very palatable and mild. I also kind of like the Nashville chicken more. Again, 
we're gonna do something to level this up a little bit. Garlic aioli. Mm -hmm. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta fuck with this. I could probably put this on the table, and it'd be delicious. Uniqueness. Now this is the house burger. I really didn't have any advice. Twenty-eight days. A dry aged, okay. Has gorgonzola, American cheese, bacon, jalapeno, marmalade. Yes, we do. Check all that out. I really don't know what to think right now. I have to take another bite just to find out because look at all that going on right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I really enjoyed this. I forgot I had blue cheese in it. It gives it a whole nother, like, just a whole nother flavor that you did not expect. Especially if, you, if you've never tried blue cheese before, this will, this will kind of blow your mind. And it's like I said, I really like this, okay? I like this more than the Spash Burger. I don't know about the Chubby, they go, they go kind of neck and neck for me. I just like the whole, the amount of flavors you have in here. It's got a lot going on in one, in one package. But I'll rock with this again. I cannot get over this bread. This bread is buttery, but it, with all the juices and all the cheese going on, it does not get soggy like other fast food places do. I really rock with this one. And you you kind of you kind of get the the dry aged taste in this a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit. But well, that's good because some people may not know how to handle it. But this, I really rock with this. So I'm eating the steakhouse burger. Usually steakhouse burgers have barbecue sauce or something weird on it. This has a bunch of different things, but definitely not barbecue sauce. I was worried since it's a dry aged steak that I wasn't going to be able to taste the steak in it. It's actually really good, and the steak still comes through on the finish, um, which I actually like quite a bit. If there's another way to level this up, garlic aioli. Yeah, that's really good. Definitely do this. <clears throat> All right, that was it for the chubby raccoon. Here with my homeboy, 956 de la Come. You're going to see more of us in the future. So, hey, make sure you subscribe to his channel. Follow him on his platform on TikTok. I'll leave all that link down below. All right. If you ever been here, let me know if there's something else I should have gotten. Uh, let me know your opinion. But, hey, so far, I rock with the Chubby Raccoon. You should try it for yourself. I'll leave all the information linked down below. Website, Facebook page, all that good stuff. Make sure y'all try it out. Let me know what y'all think. And as always, man, don't forget to savor the flavor.